Hi guys, it's Ten here. Today we're gonna be learning some CT scan. Um, so my school gave us some work online to do at home. I figured we'll learn this together. I'm currently a third year medical student, so I have not yet been to hospital because of the COVID-19 situation. So we're doing a lot of stuff like virtually online, online learning stuff. And yesterday I went through the um, so we were using the University of Virginia uh, radiology stuff and yesterday we already went through chest I learned how to read chest x-ray and stuff and um, today we're doing chest CT high resolution chest CT here I already watched the introduction video it was pretty helpful I'm not going to go through it with you guys um, but uh, I, I figured it'd just be fun for us to learn from some CT together uh, and uh, figure stuff out. So let's go, let's get through it. Okay, well let's learn about septal thickening, right? Um, so I guess you can see the septations. So I guess it, if, it, if it thickens, then you can see the septation more clearly, right? That's what it means, septal thickening. So that's all we're learning about septal thickening. How am I supposed to know if it's smooth or regular? or nodular they don't, they don't really tell me here um okay uh this is probably i don't know man <laughs> i don't know if it's nodular or i mean it looks pretty thick i'm saying i'm gonna say it's not smooth so probably irregular not absent because it's definitely there. Yeah. Okay. Plural effusion. So it's the same same slides, okay? So plural effusion, so just I guess fluid, so air is in the space. So what I learned about from X ray and C T today is that the more dense something is, the the brighter it'll be on the X ray because it just reflects the light a lot more so like bones and stuff will be white and the darker it is it's gonna be like fluids air water that's what I learned all right so plural effusion pretty much just like fluid and uh I'm, st I'm still thinking these lungs yeah plural this is in the plural space you can see it here you can see it here makes sense so present right Uh, looking at so here you probably see some kind of mass so maybe like a grayish see like the problem I had the same thing with yesterday too guys yeah, like for the x-ray I like I cannot s can you guys see what it's pointing at it's just I mean I see I see the arrow but if there was no arrows there, I would have no idea what it's trying to tell me. I'm like zooming in here and like... I don't... You guys see anything? Like look at this. I don't... I don't see anything. I can't make out just a mass or something. Um... Yeah, but... I guess here's you can see the lymphadenopathy that's showing me with arrows. So I'm gonna say present for this, I guess. We're looking at ground glass opacity. So I guess I don't really know what I'm supposed to be looking at. So septal thickening is you can see the septations, right? Yeah, like these. But ground glass opacity is so. Are these ground glass opacity too, or is it? Or are these just septations? No, these are not septations, right? These are septations. You can clearly see from the lobes. But is it just the white stuff? Yeah, maybe just the white stuff, like, so like, this is not white, right? This is cetaceans, the lines and stuff. 
but here you can see all the white stuff all over here so i think that's what it's talking about ground glass opacity we're gonna go with that um i'll learn more once i get into the wards so <laughs> yeah that's what i go with with the description but pneumonia pulmonary edema alveolar damage i think you can all see this in the um, interstitial fibrosis ground glass opacity this is probably acute Maybe chronic. That that actually looks really bad. I think this is that's a lot of ground glass potassium, so I'm gonna go with chronic. Alright, tree and bud. So I guess what you see here is uh, fluid fill? So this fluid fill is probably gonna be dark, right? Pus and mucus. Okay, so what I learned is that water is is more dense than fat. So fats actually be uh, more dark than like water and stuff. So like pus and mucus, is that water? I don't know. But I guess for these, you can... It's like these little... Uh, dark stuff? But like the whole lungs, it's a dark. Look at this, it's just literally just pixels. I, I don't know how radiologists knew it because... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to be a radiologist because I can't read any of this stuff. Uh, more irregular appearances. I don't know what even the normal centrilobular bronchioles look like on the CT. So I don't, I don't know guys, is this the dark space here or is it the white stuff? Tree and bud. Where's the tree? <laughs> well, okay. I, I guess that's tree and bud. Moving on. Present. Honeycombing. I know this one. There you go. So it's, it's, it's just like. So all the septation is healer, but now it's even worse. It looks like a bunch of like beehives re separated. Alveolar destruction. So lung fibrosis. That's why it's associated with. Um, so it's just like hardening and dead parts of your lungs. Calcifications. Yeah, looks pretty gross. All right, easy. Let me call me. Present. Bronchiectasis. Uncle, so this looks kind of like the honeycombing that we see earlier, right? Let's see. So here's the honeycomb. Can you kind of see it here? Um. So is this? Mm, I don't. I don't really know what the difference is between this and honeycombing. So honeycombing is fibrosis. The lung, right? Alveolar destruction. The bronchiectasis is the bronchial dilation. So is it filled with more air? So you probably so these dark spaces. So I guess it's just bigger, right? But these look pretty big too. So I don't know. Yeah, these. I don't know. Those look right. Doesn't these look bigger? Pretty big to you guys too. Like those look like bronchioles, right? Thick wall air fill cysts. So this fill with air also, but it's like cysts. It doesn't do anything. Okay, that's why it looks similar. So these are bronchial that's functioning, but it's just dilated. But these are just like cysts. It's not functioning. It's not functioning. It just cysts filled with air. Okay, ah, that's the difference. But they look pretty similar on the CT, I guess. But I guess here you just don't see as much as like a honeycomb. Here you can see it more like a honeycomb pattern. Yeah. Air trapping, let's go. Air trapping. Abnormal retention of gas within the lung. So even when you expire, you know, you retain gas in your lung when you should be. You want to be getting new air in. Um. So inspiratory, you see all these air, it's all dark here. 
and when you expire it should be mostly white like it should be dark spot but here you can see dark spot so it's expiratory retention of air so air trapping makes sense easy so usually you want to have you have patient expire to see if there's air trapping when you take a picture and you be like hey breathe out and hold your breath and take a picture but usually normally you want to inspire hold your breath if you guys ever had your chest x-ray done they tell you to take a breath in and hold it but uh in this case i guess you want to tell them to expire and then take the picture sentry lobular nodules okay so i don't really know what's trying to tell me here this is pretty similar to uh so i guess this nodules we can kind of see that it's kind of let me zoom in here like a little grayish right here just probably filled with air perilymphatic nodules uh, okay so the that the one before that was sentry lobular micro nodules and this one is perilymphatic nodules so okay i guess the difference between these two is going to be this one is just going to be in the nodules i mean the sentry lobulars so like in the alveolar spaces and stuff it's so on the inside but here perilymphatic you can see in the outside pleural spaces in the septa uh, septations perivots peribronchiolar vascular peribronchial vascular nodules so that's that all right guys two more randomly distributed nodules okay so i'm guessing these are just damn this looks look at these yeah you can see the, you can see the nodules all over the place i guess uh present mosaic attenuation this is pulmonary arteries will be reduced in size where i don't know <laughs> i don't know where the pulmonary arteries are in here so here's a gram glass opacity it's just all brighter here here it's not as bright but it's it's a little bit it's a little bright so okay so this is just saying that the lung perfusion is is different in all of these different parts of the lungs that's why some part have more air and some doesn't but how do you tell the difference from these two the pulmonary artery is going to be reduced in size and that's how you differentiate but i don't know which one is the pulmonary artery is on here they don't even tell you on here so that does not help me at all yes no let me know in the comments because I, I don't know how to read this oh okay maybe okay so i think mosaic attenuation is like medial size here you see how it's like towards the med medial side of the lungs and that's probably where the pulmonary arteries are while ground glass opacity is like on the outside here not over here okay i'm gonna go with that <laughs> i don't know if it's correct but i just want to go with all right easy present submit we're done done for the chest ct so um did i learn anything yes i believe i did uh, it was helpful to look at through the stuff but i think just being in person and having someone there to explain it to you would be a lot better you can just ask questions directly but i will post a link to the youtube video in the comment and not, not a comment in the description so you guys if you guys want to want to watch it just watch it and you know learn you want um but thanks for learning with me guys and uh, i probably will be doing a little bit more of some of this stuff just uh having fun studying chatting with you guys but make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff and uh till next time that's your boy 10